Face off one by the Colts. It's behind their own net now. Craig with it. Gets knocked off his skate by Baker. Out in front there to Larson. Taking the shot. And he scores. Jordan Larson opens up the scoring here of a great play by Wesley Baker. Behind the net. He gets it out to Larson. And Larson makes no mistake. It's one nothing. Carlton plays Canadians. Chant off the time they're going to get uh, get some more shots as Grant Cooper wins that draw. Gets it back to the point. Taking the shot there. And they score. Cornwall, Colts, right off the draw. Uh, as usual, I jinx the Carlton Place Canadians. And just again, but they whiff on that pass, and Carlton Place is going to get it, and they're going to just ship that one deep. It ends up going off the pads of Dublestein and off to the corner. Try to get on front, and they score! It looks like Carlton Place, it looks like that was Alex Valla with it. And out of nowhere, really, coming in on the four-check, I didn't get who that was, but he just came in out of nowhere on the four-check, got the puck, got it in front of Alex Valla, who streaked in from the boards, and he was able to chip that past the pads of Dublestein, and just like that, it's 2-1 to one for the Canadians. Jordan Larson, Jordan Larson opened up the scoring way back in that, early in that second period. Side that there, batting at it, it looked like it might have gone to the boards, but it popped out in front, and the Canadians score again, it's 3-1. to one. Yeah, I didn't see who scored, but it, it was Wes Baker that got the goal, I'm being told. And it looked like to me from up in the booth here, look at the puck matter. Rice Van Horn, he's going to head off the ice, though, on a change. Getting in late there a little bit with Alex Val, but nonetheless, they score. It was out in front, and getting a takeaway there. Looks like that was Tyson Stewart. I was paying attention to the bench, but I looked back just in time to see Tyson Stewart Get that puck away from the Cornwall defender. Take a shot right away. And that goes right over the shoulder of Dublestein. And that's going to make it 4-1 to one here. And with 4.34 left to go, that could be the backbreaker here for the Cornwall Colts.